What is grief? Where does it come from? And what's the difference between grief support and grief recovery? I'm Kim Wilkinson of Empowered Life, and I want to talk to you about grief recovery. First of all, I think for many of us, when we think about grief, we think about loss of a loved one, loss of life. And this is very true, although there are many other ways that we can experience loss and grief. Loss of a loved one, loss of a pet, loss of a relationship, whether that's through divorce, the ending of a romantic relationship, or even the ending of a friendship. Loss of trust, loss of feeling in control. There are so many worldly situations right now causing grief, right? COVID-19, Black Lives Matter, all these policing concerns, there are so many things causing grief for all of us right now. Many of us have unresolved grief. Grief shows up in the form of sadness, anger, resentment, anxiety, depression. Have you ever found yourself feeling so overwhelmed, emotional, maybe you even break out crying and you don't know why? I've been there. It's grief, often unresolved grief. Grief support is something we all need. We need that heart with ears to listen to us, to allow us to vent, to get our emotions out. Sadly, many of us have not been taught how to express ourselves. This is the difference between grief support and grief recovery. Grief recovery, we teach you to get out of your head and into your heart. We bring action into the approach so that we can actually not only just deal with the symptoms, which is something we do too often, right? We treat the symptom, we treat the depression, the anxiety, the sadness, and it's a temporary fix, but then it comes back, and it comes back, and it comes back. And that's the difference with grief recovery. Grief recovery, we're going through a very concrete process, a step-by-step -step approach to identifying our whole grief history and one at a time applying a method to bring completeness, not closure, not shutting it away, completeness, to a place where we can come to acceptance and peace. And this process, I can honestly tell you, is very, not only healing, but empowering. This is the stuff that helped me with all of my losses. And the biggest one, losing my son who died at 22 years old of a drug overdose last November. And that's why I'm so passionate about grief recovery, because I know that it works. I also know that so many people out there are struggling and suffering from unresolved grief and current grief. So if this sounds like something that is really hitting home for you, I want you to check out the links First one to the Grief Recovery Institute to learn more about this program. And the second to my website so you can learn a little bit more about the different ways that I am here to support you and guide you through your grief recovery journey. Thanks for listening.